When thinking about moving to Europe, normally you think of places like France, the UK, Spain, Portugal, Switzerland, or even Germany. Now, besides the name brand countries, you can also find a great lifestyle in not so known places. These are five unknown yet wonderful places to live in Europe. Number one, Andorra. Right on the Pyrenees Mountains between Spain and France, you will find the Principality of Andorra, a skiing paradise that has become a popular spot among YouTubers in the last couple of years. Benefits of Andorra include being surrounded by plenty of nature, having a quiet and safe environment, have many skiing resorts, but also some consumer conveniences. Andorra also has good infrastructure and great healthcare system while remaining a very low tax country with a maximum income tax rate of 10%. Another advantage of Andorra is being only two hours away by car from cities like Barcelona. Now, since Andorra is not part of the European Union, regardless of your nationality, you will need a visa to live here. The most common residency visa is the one given to people opening a company in the country. This is also a common option being used by self-employed people. Other residency visas include the ones given to notable people from the scientific, sports or cultural background. Other common options are the residency by investment programs where you need to invest 400,000 euros into real estate or other applicable investment. Downsizes of living in Andorra include the colder weather due to the altitude, having a higher cost on living when compared to neighbors, Spain or France, as well as having maybe a too slow-paced kind of living, especially if you're coming from a big city. Another thing to consider is that since Andorra doesn't have a local airport, you will need to fly through Barcelona and drive two hours to the country each time you get in. Number two, the island nation of Malta. Enjoying the sun on the Mediterranean Sea, this small country offers the perfect lifestyle for beach lovers. Founded by the Order of the Knights of Malta, this country offers 219 kilometers of coastline, boasting beautiful cities like Valletta, Silema, and St. Julian. Malta combines a mix of old buildings, fortresses, and castles with newer architecture with restaurants and shopping centers. Other benefits of Malta include having a moderate tax rate, up to 35% on local source income, but only 15% for foreign source income. If you're an EU citizen, you can freely move here since Malta is part of the European Union. If you're not, there are several options you can use to get a residency visa. The most common one is a global residency program where you can live in the country by renting a property of at least 800 euros a month and also proven sufficient means for living. The downsides of this is that you will also need to pay a minimum tax of 15,000 euros or 15%, whichever is higher, though it may not be positive for everyone depending on your income. Now, living on the sunny island of Malta also has some downsides. For example, you will see that there's a lack of green lush spaces just because of its geographical situation. In the same manner, to get into the island, you will normally need to take a flight. So it's something to consider if you want to travel across Europe frequently. Number three, Monaco. Being the smallest country on the planet, only after Vatican City, the Principality of Monaco is also the richest country on Earth, with a GDP per capita of over 234,000 US dollars and a high density of millionaires being every one out of three people. Benefits of living in Monaco include having an almost non-existent crime rate, being in a fabulous weather and beach location right on the Côte d'Azur, while also enjoying many consumer conveniences such as luxury shops, restaurants, art galleries, and opera, museums, and also hosting the famous Formula One Grand Prix. In terms of taxes, Monaco is the only place in Europe where you can get a 0% income tax, as well as having no inheritance or wealth tax. Monaco is also very well connected by train to Italy and France, as well as being only 40 minutes away to Nice Côte d'Azur International Airport. As happens with Andorra, Monaco is not part of the European Union, so regardless of your nationality, you would need a visa to live here. The most common options are the typical employment visa where you get hired by a local company or a governmental entity, the one that you open a company in the country, 
or this very famous but not so reachable visa where you prove sufficient funds. Here in Monaco, typically that will require you to deposit a minimum of 500,000 euros in a Monaco's bank as well as renting or buying a property. Now, the main downsides of Monaco is the high cost of living, especially in relation to housing. Here you can easily pay 3,000 euros for a small studio and over a million euros for a small 15 square meter apartment. Another thing to consider is that because of its small size, Monaco could get too boring for some people, especially considering that you will need to spend at least six months in a year to keep your residency. On to the number four, Luxembourg. Moving to another European monarchy, the Great Duchy of Luxembourg offers a great French-speaking lifestyle with a slower pace of living, yet being in a very developed nation. If you're looking for a high-paid job, this is your place because Luxembourg normally offers some of the highest paid jobs among the European Union. As this is part of the EU, this is a favorite among many young Europeans of other countries that are looking for a better job position. Luxembourg also offers many choices to live in. You can live in a small village, or in a vibrant place like Luxembourg City. Besides having great consumer conveniences and good transportation, Luxembourg is also very well connected to other nations, being only two hours away by train to major cities like Paris, Frankfurt, or Brussels. If you're not an EU citizen, you can still live in Luxembourg due to its many residency options. The most common one is employment visa, where a company hires you and sponsors you to live in the country. Other option is a residency for private reasons, where you will need to prove self-sufficient funds of at least 27,000 euros per year to live in the country. The only thing to know is that you cannot be employed under that visa in the country. Also, you will have options such as a residency by investment, where you can invest 500,000 euros in a local company or management group. Now, downsides of Luxembourg is that this is a very rainy country and the culture tends to be more discreet and more closed off than compared to other southern nations in Europe, so it's not that easy to socialize here. Number 5. Montenegro. Last but not least, this small country between the Adriatic Sea and the mountains has gained a lot of attention the last couple years because of offering an affordable yet idyllic coastal lifestyle. Here you can live in an amazing coastal property for just a couple hundred euros a month. I have to start by saying that the country is not developed in the same way. You mostly want to be on the coastal areas near places like Cotter Bay, Tibat, Porto Montenegro, Budva or Stavi Stefan. This is where you'll find most international facilities, restaurants, shopping venues or hotels. For nature lovers, this country will offer breathtaking places where you will find lakes, mountains, forests and beach places all in just a couple of miles away. Now since this is not an EU member state, to live here you will need a residency permit. The most common ones are the ones for people opening a company within the country, which is also a common option for people who are self-employed, as well as buying a property in the country, which leads you to a residency. Bear in mind that properties here can start as low as 50,000 euros. Now, downsizes of Montenegro include that the infrastructure is not as good as many other European nations, especially relating to healthcare or roads, and also that in order to get here, typically you need to take a flight to cities like Dubrovnik and then drive an hour and a half to get to the coastal areas of Montenegro. So there you have it guys, those were five amazing yet unknown places to live in Europe. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and make a comment, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.